Six. You told us yesterday this place was fully licensed to operate, and that doesn't seem to be the case. Can you explain? Channel 2 investigates on the case after a deadly building fire. Tonight, we're questioning the owner, plus a significant development about the city and its visits to that very building. Channel 2 investigates discovered the Houston Police Department responded to that building site 18 times in the last eight months. And we've learned another city department inspected the illegal boarding house, but never shared that information with anyone else. Two people died yesterday when the building at Griggs and Cullen caught fire. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum has been digging into this all day long, and he's joining us now live with what he has discovered. Joel? Bill, you know, in the landlording business, you can save a lot of money by not following the rules. But you are taking a risk and you're potentially putting your tenants at risk. And in this case, there was no safety net. You had told us yesterday this place was fully licensed to operate and that doesn't seem to be the case. Can you explain? Moses Briscoe owned and operated the unlicensed boarding house that bears his name. Inside, 22 small individual rooms. Tenants shared a common kitchen and common bathrooms. In the past, this place has been advertised to potential investors as a cash cow. Early Thursday morning, though, it was a tomb for two tenants, including Sandra Gooden. He knew that it was an unsafe environment for people elderly people with medical conditions to be staying there and he needs to be held accountable for his action. Channel 2 Investigates has learned in just the last eight months HPD has had 18 calls for service here and one call, meet firefighter urgent last August, appears to indicate the Houston Fire Department has been here too within the last year and code enforcement visited in May 2015. They contend they forwarded their case to Public Works, another agency, for follow-up. They say they have no record of the referral. All of that contact with the city of Houston, and no one took any meaningful steps to find or shutter this illegal boarding house. In plain daylight on busy Griggs Road in southeast Houston, Briscoe's place continued to house cash-paying tenants with no certificate of occupancy and no fire safety oversight until the day tragedy struck. Never had this place checked out? Do you think that was a factor in the fire? I'm asking you. You never got the licenses. We asked the mayor's office about all of this. So much contact, so little action. And what we got was, quote, this situation points out deficiencies in our system that require correction. There will be a full review of everything. That and two funerals. We're live in Southeast Houston tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Joel, thank you.